hi guys uh, welcome back to another video um, today I'm going to show you how to take the edge off of a new trowel um, to try and get it where it's um, at a reasonable state um, where you can use it on plaster uh, now this trowel here is the Neela premium stainless steel trowel now it's pre-worn straight out the box although it's pre-worn it's not ready for using um, straight away on the wall um, it does need more work before that the best way to get a trial worn in um, is by using it on sand cement first um, for a few weeks two to three weeks uh, take it from there and start using it on skimming um, where the skimming would finish it the edge off and smooth it off properly and then you'd be able to get a decent finish um, at the end of the job <clears throat> right so um, as I said it's pre-worn but down the centre it still feels like roughish um, where it's been on the machine and I don't know if you can see there you can see a sort of roughage edge all the way through now if you look along this edge here and also the far edge you can see that this is where it's already pre-worn but it still has a bird edge along each side and it still has the corners left on it uh, so what we need to do before using it, if, you, if you're not going to be able to get it on sand cement or if you're new into plastering and, and you haven't used sand cement yet, um, the way to do it is to get it sort of to a certain standard where you can start using it on either bonding, browning and then skimming at the same time. You will get it worn in that way but it will take a lot longer to do so. Right, you can help it along by hitting it with sandpaper. Now. Um, to do that we need um, some 80 grit sandpaper and then what we'll do is we'll sand the, the face down first just to get some of that rough edge off and then we'll go on to the edges and then we'll also then go on to taking the corners off. Alright okay so what we'll do is we'll sand this section first. So all we're trying to do is we're trying to smooth this off really. Right, so I don't know if you can see there but it's taken so much off already and that's just off a light rub down um, so it's still got quite a way to go um, but it is getting there just off that little bit there so what we need to do is give that a bit more um, and then we'll come back to it Right, so as you can see it's starting to come down already it's getting there it's, it's much smoother but what I'll do now is I'll move over to the edge and I'll show you how to get the edge not backwards and forwards and little, little parts because you, you'll end up making the metal on level so you've got to make sure it's a continuous strokes all the way up and down the edge And then take your sandpaper and then the same, keeping it flat on the edge, backwards and forwards on that way. And what that'll do is that'll take the burrs off. Just rub your thumb along it. And if you feel any rough edge, there's one there still. It needs a bit more just to get the burr off. Right, okay. 
Okay, so already that's made it a lot smoother along that edge. So now we can take that side onto plaster. Ideally sand cement first. Now we'll do the same on this side. smooth right now what I want to do is I want to take these corners off so the best way to do that uh, a fine um, file would be best for this but if you can do it with the sandpaper what we need to do is do it in like a rocking motion so sort of like angle it as you're coming across it twist your wrist and what that'll do is that will round that corner off as easy as that that's how you take the corners off right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on giving a little bit more sand on the face and a little bit more down the edges all right guys so that's that uh, now smoothed down quite a way um, it's still not a hundred percent ready to take straight on the skimming what I've done on there is enough to get you started um, so like I say um, if you're new out, you bought yourself a new trowel and you're not sure how to get work, uh, worn in, that's a way to help you. Um, if you have some wet and dry sandpaper, that will probably work even better. I haven't got none, I've just got normal sandpaper in the shed, um, so that's the reason I've used that. But if you had wet and dry uh, sandpaper, you could put that on it first, that would probably help to take it down even smoother. It's good enough to get me started. So when we get some rendering jobs in, um, I'll get this on the sand cement. Obviously, I'm not in a rush. Uh, to break it in at the moment because I've still got my old uh, Marshall Town there for uh, skimming. All right, guys, so that's it from me. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.